It is rather bass heavy songs anyway. It opens up like a book, a soothing tale you might read before bed. Super, super, super duper good. The Nyanka Light Pros. These go in your ears. They're 60 bucks. AirPods retail for 150. AirPod Pros, 250. These are less than half the price. Are they less than half the performance? So the Nanka Light Pro Bluetooth earbuds for use with iOS, Android, pretty much any Bluetooth device. You could pair these up with a switch and play them on the go so people aren't listening to you cross with animals and Animal Crossing. Now I have tested AirPod clones, lookalikes, or knockoffs. They were around $15 or $20 and they sounded absolutely horrendous. I've never tested one in the $50 to $60 range. These are on sale right now on Amazon for $50. Bucks. They will be linked in the description below and we'll find out if it's actually worth clicking on that link or not. Now, Nanka did send these out to me, but in full AK-40 Kevin fashion, we don't sugarcoat anything here in the gamer heaven. I might be a sweet guy, but I'm not gonna be sugarcoating any reviews. I'm gonna tell you guys straight. Let's unbox these bad boys. Alrighty guys, over here at the Stormtrooper desktop, if you are new to the channel, this is where we do our unboxings, custom controller builds, and a whole bunch of other fun stuff. The knife does not come with the product. So it says right on the front, the best gift. I don't know, a Lamborghini Huracan or a date with Megan Fox where I can really charm her socks off might be, a, might be the best gift in my book. But uh, this might be a close second, we'll find out. So I do like this little holographic action here. It kind of reminds me of a Pokemon card. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. There is a sleeve on the outside. And then you get this kind of mossy green box here. I would refer to it as puke green. But again, this was sent to me and out of respect for the company, it is a mossy green. So I do like the presentation. I'm not gonna lie. It opens up like a book, a soothing tale you might read before bed. It reminds you yet again that it is the best gift. It welcomes you to the unboxing. All right, so this is foam. You know, it's always weird to me. When I get some like 250 or $400 product I unbox and it's just thrown into a cardboard box with some egg carton and some bubble wrap and then products like this from a company that most of us have probably never heard of that retails for $50 has things like foam and a nice presentation. You know what I mean? All right, we'll set you aside for now. USB-C? USB-C. I was expecting micro USB, I'm not gonna lie. A little accessory box right here, some documentation. All right, so if you get the black model, you will have a black USB-C cable. If you get the white version, it'll be white. This is very short, probably about four to six inches, ladies, which can get the job done if you're using it in the right application, i.e. just charging this thing off your desk or something or off your PC, right? You have your user manual and you guys know if you've been around the channel that I am a bit of an instruction manual snob, right? So it does have pictures, no color or anything like that. English is the primary language. Pretty good sized font. I'm not really straining my corneas to read this thing and it is very instructive, very informative. So this is a charging case. They should automatically pair up with your iPhone and they do have what's called game mode, which I'm assuming might boost up the mid range where footsteps are. I don't know, I could be completely wrong with that. But it does have a little voice assistant that will let you know when you're on low battery, when you've paired. And it'll also say, Roger that whenever you've gone into game mode, which is kind of cool. So these will run five to six hours per charge and you get 20 hours out of the charging case. So that's awesome. That is actually really, long, so she said. And then the charge time is about one hour and 20 minutes for the earbuds to charge from inside the case. And to charge the case itself, you're looking at about an hour and a half. So relatively short charge time in comparison to the actual use time. You know, an hour and 30 minutes for five to six hours of listening time, plus another 20 if you just drop them in the charge case. It's actually pretty good. So this does use a Qualcomm chipset and Bluetooth 5. So those are pretty, Pretty solid components. This has a Bluetooth range of 33 feet. We're gonna test that, cause that seems really long. Well, it does look like there's something else under this box here uh, that is just for decoration, for presentation. There is nothing underneath here. So we can close this and set it aside. Oh, that's super satisfying. <laughs> the little things like that that entertain me. It is magnetized, so if you just barely push it over, it snaps shut. And then also when you try and open it, you get like a nice, 
resistance to it. Now getting these out for me isn't too difficult, but I have rather skinny fingers. If you had some big old snossages for fingers, some, a bunch of bananas for fingers, it might be kind of difficult to pry them out of there. There isn't really like a good cutout or anything to grab them from. But for me and for most people that have average to smaller hands, that's not a big deal. All right, boys, I've been using the Nanka Pro lights for about a week now, every day, and they are pretty damn good. They're not perfect, but they are pretty darn close, especially for the price point. So I'm going to get the cons right out of the way as there really aren't that many of them. First of all, long term comfort, because they are just hard plastic on your ears, as opposed to something like a rubberized material. They're not the most comfortable things in the world. However, I have worked out with them. I was just playing soccer in the backyard, messing around with my dog, wrestling around, playing fetch with her and stuff. These are absolutely in your ears, positively not going anywhere. Um, once they're in your ears, they are in your ears until you remove them. Uh, the next thing is, and this is kind of just something you adapt to. It's not a bad feature or anything like that, but these do have touch functionality on each earbud, which I am gonna go over how to activate that and the different functions that you have for your virtual assistant like Siri, and also how you can pick up calls and stuff like that. And I will touch on the call, the call quality as it is pretty darn good, but anywhere above right about here and up, this is all a touch sensitive zone. So when you're trying to adjust them, make sure you grab them from the bottom and adjust them like that. Because if you grab them up here, which I have a habit of wanting to do, um, to shove them in my ears a little bit deeper, because I like to go pretty deep with my earbuds. You can accidentally activate some of the touch features and you really don't want that because um, then you're skipping songs and calling your ex-girlfriend and stuff like that. And we don't have time for that around here. Now, the two most important things for me with wireless earbuds would be comfort and then sound quality. We're also gonna touch on things like call quality, battery life and uh, functionality with the iPhone. However, uh, the sound quality, is pretty darn good, especially for the price point. They don't sound quite as good as AirPods. However, AirPods retail for $150. Uh, you can find them on sale quite a bit for about 120. AirPod Pros retail for 250, but you can find them on sale for about 220, sometimes even $200. Um, but these are less than half the price of the entry level AirPods, but they don't have half the sound quality. They sound really good. The bass definitely surprised me. They are very, very bass heavy. Um, almost a little bit too much where to me, it seems like the frequency range is the entire frequency range, vocals, instrumentals, uh, treble, mids, everything is shifted just slightly towards the bass region. Um, but it doesn't sound muddy. It doesn't sound overpowered by bass to where it's sloppy or anything like that. It does just sound like they're very bass heavy. However, most of the music I listen to is like electronic dubstep rap, stuff like that. That is rather bass heavy songs anyway. But for me personally, my particular listening style, I think they sound really, really good. And I was really surprised because I have tested a lot of, um, I'm not even going to call them knockoffs because that term automatically makes you associate it with poor quality, um, off-brand off -brand AirPods, or basically just wireless earbuds, as they're not really trying to be AirPods, they're basically just wireless earbuds. But, but after Apple, of course, everyone is going to be compared to them, and that's just how it is. But these sound very, very good. I also do like the touch functionality, so I have music playing lightly right now in my ears, nice little Amazon Prime playlist. And if you want to pause the track, you double tap on either the right uh, or left ear, ear pod and it'll automatically ear, ear pod. That's <laughs> not an ear pod. It's an ear pod. Now to skip to the next track, and this does work on Pandora, Spotify and uh, YouTube music and Amazon Prime. Those are the four different music platforms that I have tested with these thus far. And this functionality works with all those applications to skip to the next track. You will hold down two seconds on the right ear um, earbud and to go to the previous track that's two seconds on the left ear earbud over there if you get a call double tap on the left or right and it will pick up the phone call if you want to ignore the phone call as it is just going to be playing your ringtone from your phone until they stop calling um, you can just hold down for about two seconds and it will reject the call and then you are going back to your music or whatever you had playing. I did just pick up a call a few minutes ago. It was unplanned, but I was brushing my teeth. Somebody called me. I picked up from these. I asked them how the voice quality was. I'm testing out some new earbuds that I got sent out for review. They said it actually sounds really good, just like you were on your phone. So that's good. Now to turn the volume up, it's just a quick tap on the right. To turn it down, it's a quick tap on the left. And in order to activate Siri or whatever virtual assistant you have on your cell phone, you're going to triple tap. I have not been able to activate Siri doing that, but I'm not blaming the earbuds. I do have an iPhone XR that's almost three years old and it does work pretty janky with a lot of peripherals and accessories I've tested. So 
I, I can't really blame these, um, but please let me know in the comment section below if you own these or you do pick up a pair of these, if you have trouble activating Siri as well with a triple tap. This does also have a game mode. I didn't really notice a difference when you activate it. Basically what you do, how to activate that, you're gonna triple tap on the right earbud and the right only, and you're gonna hear a voice say, uh, go, 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 roger that. And then basically you're in game mode, which I'm assuming is supposed to give you better stereo spread or whatever. I did a little bit of mobile gaming with these. I didn't notice any difference with the game mode on or off, but they have that feature. Potentially, I'm assuming it'll give you better stereo spread so you can pinpoint enemies and stuff like that, but I didn't really notice a difference. So pairing these is extremely easy. Once you do have a charge on this magnetic case, you just open it up and the instruction manual says to take the earbuds out and they will automatically go into pairing mode. The first time I paired them, I hadn't read the instruction manual. I just opened them up and kind of just left it open like that. And they popped up as a discoverable, discoverable Bluetooth device. I connected to my my iPhone like that and then pulled them out of the case, popped them in my ear and they've been good to go. And ever since then, whenever I pop them out, put them in my ear, they automatically connect to my iPhone, which is really awesome. And then battery life is actually really good. So I've had these in my ear being constantly listened to with music, podcasts, audiobooks, stuff like that for about two to three hours every single day for the last week. And I've only had to charge them once and the charging wasn't plugged into the wall or anything that was just being dropped into the charging case here. So that's pretty darn good, especially because these are, again, like 60 bucks. So my final verdict with the Nanka Light Pros over here, I think they sound absolutely phenomenal. The comfort's not bad either. Like I said, for long, long sessions, since they are plastic, you know, I kind of started thinking about that. Like, hmm, maybe if these had like a rubberized coating or something, they might feel a little bit better, but they don't by any means feel uncomfortable. They stay in your ears super, super, super duper good. Um, I Like I said, I've been playing soccer with them in and I've had no issues or anything like that. Uh, the sound quality, really impressive. The bass actually really impressed me because generally with these off-brand AirPods or earbuds, wireless Bluetooth earbuds, the bass is very, very underwhelming, if not non-existent. And they're basically just really hollow and tinny. Those, uh, these you don't get that whatsoever. It actually does have rich full bass. And I do think because of the way the packaging is set up and everything, it kind of is an experience when you unbox it. I think it would make a good gift. And I think that's kind of what they're going for. I mean, it even says, the best gift right on their box. And I was like, eh, really? But these really are impressive for the price. And I do think the presentation with the box and everything is really nice. However, I would advise Tananka to change the color of the box a little bit. It is kind of a, uh, like kind of a murky green, you know, maybe a nice navy blue or a, uh, a nice gunmetal gray or a sterling silver or a gloss white or something like that. Might just give it a little bit more premium of a feel, but overall, I mean, but overall these are definitely the best Bluetooth earbuds I have tested in the price point and even a little bit higher, I would say anything sub 80 to $100, these are on par with. Well, that's gonna do it, boys. If you enjoyed this honest review, liking the video helps it to get seen by more people, which in turn helps me grow this little channel, which I do greatly, greatly appreciate. Subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.